Hello and welcome to Salon Scheduler. We're going to show you how to set up your scheduler and before we do that we need to show you how to set up your Clover device, okay? Because there's some things you just need to do to get your Clover up and running, okay? First thing you want to do is on your Clover device you want to find your inventory app. See it looks like this right here. And when you find that inventory app you want to add everything you sell to your Clover inventory, okay? Now, so that would include your products and your services. And the way you want to do that first is you can create categories, okay? Categories are ways to organize everything you sell. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example here. Let's make a new category and we're just going to call it, say, hair services. Okay, and um, so that's a category of service, of, um, of things you're going to sell. Then you can hit the little plus sign right here and you can add every item you're going to sell. For example, maybe you sell a, a men's haircut. Okay, and then you can set the price of that haircut. Okay, and so the it's a fixed price item, let's say, and in a fixed price item, the price of it is going to be say twenty five dollars. Okay, and then um, you can add other things if you need to here, but basically you want to make sure that if that everything you sell, services or products, see you can just hit save right here, and so now see this category called hair services has a product in it called men's haircut. You can make another item. Let's call this in a women's haircut. Now the, um, let's say it's not a fixed price item. Let's say that you have some items that a different employee charges a different amount. Like each employee, Sue might charge $10 and Betty might charge $20. Then set it to a variable priced item. Okay, and later on, when you do the setup of the scheduler, you'll be able to give a different price for each employee, okay? And so, so here you go, I've made a category called hair services and I've added two items to it, men's haircut and women's haircut. Now I can go back out of there and I can create another category. Let's say we call it waxing. Okay. And then I can add items to that category. Uh, let's say I'll just call this one a um, chin, or let's say a full body wax. And we're gonna say this is a fixed price item and it costs nine, 99 okay a little cheap but there you go see that so what you're doing is you're creating your clover categories and you're adding your items that you sell to these categories and each item you sell will either be fixed priced or variable again remember if it's variable priced item later on when we do the scheduler uh, setup you'll be able to give a different price for each employee okay so that's the first thing you want to do with your clover to get ready for the scheduler setup if you have any questions about this, just text us at 469-269-2053. Okay, I'm going to go on to the next step for your setup, which is you want to set up all your employees. You go to the Clover Employees app, and you can tap on there. You can add new employees using the little plus sign. And when you do that, you give the employee a name, a nickname, their passcode, and then just remember the passcode is going to be the how an employee logs into the Clover system. Then you choose if they're an employee, a manager, or an admin. Each one will have different privileges, which you can find out more from Clover.com or Clover Customer Service if you need to. Okay. Make sure you give an email address and make sure you don't have any misspellings here because Clover doesn't let you change any of this information except for the nickname. Uh, the reason is to protect your data. So make sure you, uh, you, you add all your employees to the Clover Employees app. So once you've added all your inventory, that's everything you sell, products and services, into different categories so they're organized and you've added your employees then you're ready to do your clover setup and what we want you to do just text us at 469-269-2053 when you've completed adding your inventory and adding your employees and we'll walk you through the next step we're going to do this one step at a time in your own time when you're ready like you know take as much time as you need to get this ready and text us when you're ready for the next step